compensating for something. <laughs> you never remembered my name, asking how to spell it to cover your memory lapse. But you also laughed like a pro, went to 10 a.m. movies and sat in the theater alone, 3D glasses on and face full of wonder. You watched football on our big screen TV and found something in common with every customer, playing to the ladies with a temporary Twilight Oran tattoo and rolled up sleeves on opening weekend. We had nothing in common. You were a meathead trapped behind a bar counting pores on his fingers, and I refused to be cornered by uniforms and na name tags and how may I help you for more than a few months out of a handful of years. We had more in common than I thought. We had Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, the Green Lantern, X-Men. We had Batman. You're probably cringing because that list makes houses, but you stood on the fence and mediated fans because you loved the genre. You loved the comics. And seeing them come to life on the silver screen was a dream come true. You wore a Superman shirt under your restaurant uniform, just waiting for the chance at a phone booth or an employee bathroom to reveal the emblem on your chest. Who could know this would be your final issue? A childlike impatience as you're waiting for the best birthday present a nerd could ask for. But then tear gas and gunfire and your life is cut short. And you and 11 others were initiated into the League of Injustice, created by the successful psychopath who made the unlucky 13. And we're left with nothing but memories, editing every time you were a dick with too much gel in his hair from the footage of your story and holding on to the good man behind the counter who spent his whole life dreaming of heroes. <laughs> I don't know what superpower you wish you had, but I hope you get to join all the fallen heroes of your favorite continuities, every character you shed, under the blanket, flashlight tears over at two in the morning in the same comic book Valhalla. I hope you can fly. But if DC and Marvel have taught us one thing, it's that heroes never die. Rest in peace, Sylvie.